Now, how to transfer files between two computers using NetCat? This is something which I'll be demonstrating now. And for this, we have again Kali Linux machine and we have Metasploitable too. So, what we do here uh, on the Kali Linux machine, this machine I'll be using as an attacker machine, attacking machine, and this is let's say this is the victim. Let's say this name. And then I want to transfer some files from this Metasploitable to Kali Linux machine. So for this Kali, I have to set up this Kali Linux machine in listening mode with NC minus L minus P and then the port number. And this is the file where we will be receiving the files received or sent from Metasploitable. Okay. So this will send a file with certain name which will be saved in this file. Okay. After this, on this victim's machine from where we will be sending the files, so we just have to again run NC and then give the uh, IP address, attacker's IP address to which we want to send file. And now this is the file which should be available on this Metasploitable. So that file will be transferred to this file with this name. And sorry here, this this is the this is sign we will be using here. So with this, let me remove this. So with this, this text file will be sent. Mm, here so this will send test.txt over netcat to attacker so this is the file which will be moving which we, which we are sending to this one now how to transfer files for this means netcat can also be used to transfer files for this again i have kali linux machine and uh, here i want to use nc to listen on certain ports so that is like nc minus l minus p and then port number maybe i specify this time one two one three for instance and now this kali linux machine has started listening but here yes yeah, so and go we here we go to our metasploitable machine where we from where we want to send some file so let's say we are going to create a file with the nano editor that is a text editor so for this i'm going to write sudo nano and then test.txt and press enter it's asking for password so that is m s f a d m i n and you can see we have the nano editor there and actually i have this file where i have uh, i mean written something maybe we can change it we can put uh, like uh, this is to confirm that message has been received okay maybe you can write any method maybe spelling mistakes okay but now i have made this file and i want to save it so for this i have a command that is control o and press enter to write this file again with the same name test.txt and then we get out of from this file we using control x and then we can maybe issue clear command and if we want to verify whether this file text file has been created or not we just use ls command to display this so you can see we have these two files one of them is test.txt and if you want to verify the contents again we just can just use again nano editor and then we say test sorry test.txt press enter you can see this is the file which is there and get out of here then control x we are out there and then we clear clear the screen okay now we want to send this file which we just created to our kali linux machine so for this we say nc and they give the ip address of a kali machine that is 192.168.66.138 and the port number on which kali linux machine is listening remember that was 1213 and then we have to specify the file which we want to transfer and for this we have this sign and then we give the name of the file that is test.txt which we just created and then we just press enter and as soon as we press enter this will start sending the the these file to the kali linux machine and let's go back to kali linux machine to see whether we have received this and you can see yes we have received the contents of that file that is hi this is to confirm that message has been received okay actually we did not specify any file name here but if we want then we can specify a file name here then this file this this text will not be shown here but this will just be 
and save in that file let me maybe i just show you here maybe for this i'm going to restart again here this is i'm going to write here the file may be my file and so this time the text will be saved in this file and my file.txt and press enter and then we go back here in metasploit table i'm going to maybe end this one and again trying to send the same file and with the same command you can see this command was in my memory just i with the up arrow key i could see this and then press enter and now this time again this will be sending test dost txt file to kali linux machine but this time that file should be in our uh, file name which we specified here so that is my file.txt a file name with this we should have been created and that file we should have the contents which were sent by metasploitable and let's verify so control z here yeah, so verify this and to verify this i'm going to use this ls command and you can see my file.txt file has been created on this kali linux machine and in this file we should have the content which have been sent by metasploitable and to verify it again let's use nano editor and in this nano editor we use my file.txt and press enter we can see we have those content sent by kali linux sorry sent by metasploitable machine get out of this file control x we are here 